Oh, honey, we are in so much trouble. This guy that Ma is seeing, he's handsome, he's romantic, he's a doctor. He could park wherever he wants. <laughs> Daddy would have an affair with him. Sweetheart, are you sure your mother isn't just going through a phase? I would like a word in private with Miss Blodgett, please. <laughs> Interfere with my affairs. Affairs? How many you having, Ma? <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? I have never interfered in your personal life. Oh, please! Let there be a witness. No one will believe this. Ma, how could you do this to Daddy? Don't you realize how much he loves you? Darling, the only time your father looks at me with desire in his eyes is when I'm holding a chicken. <laughs> You know what he gave me for my birthday? A standing rotisserie that drips the fat off. <laughs> Is that stupid or what? I thought you'd like it. <laughs> Fran, your father doesn't talk to me anymore. If at least he fought with me, that's life. But indifference, I can't live with that. But, Ma, if you and Danny have problems, why don't you go see a professional? I am. <laughs> Fran, you're my daughter and I love you, but you have no idea what I'm going through. Ma, I'm sorry, but I cannot and I will not accept this. Then you and I no longer have anything left to say to each other. Oh, yes, there is. That fatless rotisserie was a great gift. Say, Morty, I bet every man in the place wishes he could change places with us right now. Why? <laughs> I'm sitting under a vent here. It's blowing up. <laughs> Sylvia, you want to switch? <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Your mother's got hot flashes. She'd like a breeze. <laughs> Besides, I want the most beautiful woman in this restaurant to be comfortable. What? <laughs> I'm trying to be nice. Well, cut it out. It's unsettling. <laughs> Sylvia, I'm trying to treat you special. Why now, all of a sudden? Because... Be, because she said I should. Oh. Franny, this is no good. This isn't me. I, I'm not comfortable. I gotta get out of here. Did you say something to your father? No! He did. <laughs> Danny, Danny, come out here. I need to talk to you. Oh, excuse me. Oh, your fly's open, sir. <laughs> Danny, I have to talk to you. Oh, my God. What are you doing here? Well, I was just walking. You two know each other? Yes, this is the doctor that Mommy's been seeing uh, because she's got, uh, you know, that, um, that uh, she's got carpal that uh, carpal tunnel syndrome, carpal tunnel syndrome. <laughs> Daddy, who's been married to my mother for 40 years, this is Dr. Rosso. Oh, how do you do? What do you say? Okay, look, look, Franny, uh, I I'm, I'm sorry that, that your mother's upset with me. I really am. I, look, I'm, I'm just not the kind of guy she needs or wants anymore. Your mother's at the point of her life, I think. Your mother needs somebody like, uh, somebody like a guy like this. No, she doesn't. She does not. <laughs> Dad, don't you love Mommy? Well, of course I love Sylvia. I'm crazy about her. All right, so look, I forget things once in a while. I forget things like birthdays. I forget to talk to her during a commercial. <laughs> but she's got to know how much I care about her. Daddy, and I meant him. <laughs> how is she going to know if you don't tell her? You are going to lose her, you know. Some other guy could come along. You know, I think that you guys have exceeded the amount of time two men should stay in a men's room. No, 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 no. <laughs> let, let him finish. Let him. Some other guy could come along and tell Sylvia. All the things she really wants to hear from you. Come on, Daddy. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I know you don't see this right now, but trust me, someday you'll thank me for this. 